Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So let's start. What we are going to learn in this lecture is how to convert a number from decimal to binary and then represent it as a floating point number. So what we are going to learn in this lecture is that how to convert a decimal number into a binary number and then convert that binary number into a floating point standard so that we can represent it in a 32 bit or a 64 bit. So before moving forward, we have to know that there are two different standards for representing floating point number. Number one is single precision and number two is double precision. In case of single precision, we have 32 bits and in case of double precision, we have 64 bits for our representation of a floating point number. In case of single precision, our most significant bit is a sign bit. Then the next eight bits are reserved for exponent and the remaining 23 bits are for the significant part. So this is the format for the single precision. In case of double precision, the format is that the most significant bit is actually the sign bit. Then the next 11 bits are reserved for the exponent value. And then the remaining 52 bits are for the significant value. So basically this is the difference between single precision and double precision that first of all single precision contains 32 bits however double precision contains 64 bits in single precision the exponent is represented in 8 bits however in double precision the exponent is represented by 11 bits in single precision the significant is represented using 23 bits however in double precision the significant is represented using 52 bits so let's do an example so now what we are doing here is so we have an example that there is a number minus 10.75 in decimal format okay so we have to convert it into first of all binary number and then represent that binary in a single precision format so how to do is first of all we take the decimal number which is before this decimal point which is actually 10 so what we do is we convert 10 into binary so when we convert 10 into binary it becomes 1010 so now this is the term for the second half so what we are going to do in the second half, it is 0 0.75. So how to convert decimal part into binary? So this is the method how to convert decimal part into binary. We have to write the decimal part and then multiply it by 2. So the decimal part was 0 0.75. We multiply it by 2. So it becomes 1.5. What we do is we write the fractional part here and non-fractional part here. So in this case, we write 1 here because it is non-fractional part and 0 0.5 right here and now we have to perform another iteration on this fractional part so we will multiply it by 2 so when we multiply it 0 0.5 with 2 we get the result 1.0 so the non-fractional part is 1 and here we have to stop so here arose a question that when do we need to stop the iterations actually there are two conditions if we get 1 as a result of the multiplication then we need to stop the iterations and second case is that the same numbers are coming in next iterations. So whenever same numbers begin to repeat in the iterations, we need to stop right there. So finally we have converted 10.75 into binary. But there is a difference in reading the value of the binary. Here in conversion of 10, how we read the value is 1010. 0, 1, 0. Okay, 1010. 0, 1, 0. But however, while converting the fractional part of decimal into binary, we read the result from top to bottom so it is 1 1 so we write it as 0 0.11 so when we combine it it becomes minus 1010.11 now what we need to do is we have to normalize this fraction normalization actually means that there should be a single bit before this decimal point and that particular bit should be 1 so when we move this decimal point from this position after the very first bit so it becomes 1.01011 multiplied by 2 raised power 3. So now here comes the formula for the single precision representation and it is that here is minus 1 raised power sine multiplied by 1 plus fraction multiplied by 
टू रेज पावर एक्सपोनेंट प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सेवन हेयर एक्सपोनेंट इज एक्चुअली दिस वैल्यू सो थ्री कम्स हेयर एंड वन ट्वेंटी सेवन इज एक्चुअली द बाइस टर्म फॉर द थर्टी टू बिट रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो वेन वी रिप्लेस द वैल्यूज सो इट बिकम माइनस वन रेज पावर वन इन केस द नंबर वॉज पॉजिटिव देन हेयर द पावर वुड बी जीरो देन वी मल्टीप्लाई वन प्लस इन द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट एंड दिस इज वेयर फ्रॉम द फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट केम फ्रॉम सो वी राइट इट हेयर देन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू एंड थ्री कम फ्रॉम हेयर एंड वन ट्वेंटी सेवन इज द बाइस टर्म सो नाउ वट वी डू इज वी सिंपली एड इट इट बिकम्स वन थर्टी सो नाउ वट वी डू इज वी कन्वर्ट वन थर्टी इन टू इट्स बाइनरी सो नाउ वन थर्टी बिकम्स वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो सो नाउ हेयर कम्स द टाइम वेन वी सिंपली जस्ट नीड टू पुट ऑल दीज बाइनरीज इन टू दिस फॉर्मेट ऑफ द सिंगल प्रोसीजन विच आई हैव शोन यू अर्लियर सो हेयर इज द साइन बिट देन एड बिट फॉर द एक्सपोनेंट सो नाउ वट आई डू इज सो आई टूक दिस एक्सपोनेंट वैल्यू विच इज हेयर वन सो आई प्लेस इट इन द साइन बिट एरिया सो आई प्लेस इट एट द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट विच इज एक्चुअली रिजर्व फॉर द साइन बिट देन द नेक्स्ट एट बिट्स आर फॉर द एक्सपोनेंट so what we do is so what we do is we write these binaries in the field for the exponent so 100000010 and after that we have 23 bits reserved for the fractional part so how to write it first of all we have to write this fractional part which is 0 1 0 one, 1 and after that we do not have any bits so what we do is we replace it by 0 so 0 0 0 and all the remaining bits becomes 0 so this is how we represent a number in a floating point notation so here is an example of representation of floating point number in double precision so what's the difference in single precision and double precision is that single precision represent a floating point number in 32 bits while the double precision represent a number in 64 bits and another difference is that in single precision we have a bias term of 127 however in double precision we have a bias term of 1023 so we replace the values in the same formula as we have in the single precision so minus 1 raised power the sign <clears throat> so because it was a negative number so we write here one then there is a multiplication uh, it is not addition it is multiplication then there is one plus and the fractional part and then multiply by two raised power exponent plus bias term so exponent was 3 and bias term is 1023 in case of double precision so when we add it it becomes 1026 So now what we do is we convert one zero two six into binary. So it is the binary of one thousand and twenty six, which is represented in decimal. So now what we need to do is we have to represent all these binaries into sixty four bits double precision format. The very first most significant bit is the sign bit. So what we do is we take this one and place it right here. And then in double precision we have eleven bits reserved for the exponent. So what we do is we copy these bits. and place it right here so 10000000010 so here comes our exponent which is 11 bits long then the remaining 52 bits are reserved for the fractional part so here we have 01011 in our fractional part so how we write it is we write 01011 and then we have no bits left right here so what we do is we replace all the remaining bits with zero So in this way we convert a decimal number into a binary number and then represent it as a single precision floating point number and double precision floating point number. So friends if you understand the lecture do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos. So I hope you understand the lecture give this video a thumbs up if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel teach me technically. Thanks for watching friends.